turn us be endoscope into MIPI. You can also replace it with this USB document camera. Logitech Cam to MIPI. This is an interface for MIPI CSI2. Connect video equipment to the front end. This video equipment is called USB camera to MIPI converter. Front end camera can be replaced with USB Logitech camera or any USB to camera. It will be successful. Join this SOC platform. You can actually use a Raspberry Pi. NVIDIA Jetson development platform. Currently, this is an Android development platform. We are conducting video research and development for this embedded system. For example, this is Raspberry Pi. How to get into this Raspberry Pi? There are two ways. One way is to use this USB mode. This is a Logitech camera like this. Then enter the USB port of this Raspberry Pi. Then in another way. That's the MIPI way. This is Raspberry Pi. There are two MIPIs. This MIPI, MIPI CSI2. Here it is. The image of this CMOS sensor is. It can input to Raspberry Pi via MIPI interface. Then do research and development. What about these two types? What's the difference? Simply put, when you type using this USB webcam, this method is relatively easy because in this Linux, everything has this UVC. This driver is easy to use. Why this MIPI? His stuff needs to be developed from scratch. You need to start writing your driver. We also need to write some controls. These are big problems. Speaking for beginners, barriers to entry will be relatively high. However, there are also advantages to using MIPI. The advantage of MIPI is its high stability, and you at the same time can connect multiple MIPI paths. Let's take this Raspberry Pi as an example. I can only go to one if you are using the NVIDIA platform. As for the development board, you can go through six rules at the same time. This approach to MIPI, if you enter through this UVC, can only go into directions at most. If you use more than three, the system may be unstable. What I want to tell you about this video today is, if you want to use this MIPI now, how can we overcome this RD obstacle? Okay, we're in the market. I often see something called HDMI to MIPI. That means it has an HDMI input. Then convert it to MIPI and enter. The usual, such demos can be seen on the internet. It's just an HDMI interface. Sources GoPro camera. Then enter the MIPI interface. If you were asked to become an engineer now, this HDMI is already converted to MIPI. This path was developed. We currently have the equipment. It's called UVC to HDMI. What happens when I connect this device? You can connect to all USB to webcam. For example, this is a Logitech streaming cam. Connections work similarly. You can also use this Logitech C922 Aeromedia USB webcam. This USB to camera can also be used. First, connect power supply to this development board. Then HDMI will be connected to this TV screen. This is the development version for Android. Next. I connected a mouse for experimentation. Now you can control it using your mouse. This is an Android development board. Therefore, development is very easy. Click on this camera app later. There will show video. So what about HDMI to MIPI sources? Let's connect this board. This board is this UVC in. Then HDMI output. Connect to this board like this. Next is the power supply. Here is the DC 5 voltage. I'll try connecting. And finally connect this USB camera. First, connect this Logitech C922. When connected, this lantern has a blue light. You can see that a blue light is appearing. It is. This is already done. Then open this app again. Then the photo will appear. Look, this photo is from a Logitech camera. This is how we play. Convert all webcam ETO for HD resolution. No matter what the camera is. VGA or HD. Or Full HD. Doesn't matter. 
please convert everything to full HD and then connect to HDMI to MIPI board. It recognizes HDMI full HD video. I can connect successfully at this point. Research and development time can be significantly reduced. How smooth is the video? Is it related to the development board? Our converter. HDMI output is possible. 60 FPS, 30 FPS, 25 FPS matches this board. If your board just can get 25 FPS, you can set parameter as 25 FPS. How can I set it up? Just set it up using this USB interface. In this way. Now, let's switch to another webcam. Oh, let's change this Logitech streaming camera. No need to worry about webcam, just confirm and say yes. This USB to webcam can be used. Please pick it up again. This means that it is compatible with USB 2. If the web camera is USB 3, however, if it is compatible with 2, then you can use this board. See, that's it. Look, the screen will come directly to you. No need for further research and development. Because it converts this UVC to HDMI, you can save big. Some chores in engineering. This is an AVR media camera. Backward compatibility with USB 3 is possible. I'll connect it then. You'll understand when you see it. If you want to develop manufacturers regarding the MIPI interface, may need to spend a lot of time. It costs a lot of money too. When we were doing the initial testing of the experiment, you can use the USB interface first. Please wait until confirmed. Then have the manufacturer design it as MIPI. This endoscopic camera, this can save you a lot of time and money. Please connect. This endoscope is ultra small. You can also replace it with this USB document camera. You can use it too. This is our UVC to HDMI converter. Converting this UVC to HDMI when connected to this HDMI to MIPI converter. From UVC to MIPI. At the moment, you can perform many useful experiments. This USB source. Just connect a USB to camera, such a USB to document camera, or Logitech camera, or a fisheye camera. All you need is a USB camera, compatible with USB 2. At this time I, you can use it. Research and development time can be significantly reduced, and the development cost of this camera is. If you are sure that this camera is correct, I'll go to the manufacturer and try to negotiate. How do we design this MIPI interface? This camera, this is useful in the early stages of research and development. It's a very good tool.